So I just wanted to show you two cases of uh, infectious endocarditis of a native tricuspid valve. Uh, the first is a 28 year old uh, woman, female who came to the ER for a month lasting fever, uh, problems with breathing, pains of the joints and the uh, of the arm and the leg. Um, here you can see that there is a vegetation on the frontal cusp, it's relatively big. Um, the, the ejection fraction seems to be fine and there seems to be a, a very small pericardial effusion here. So this is infectious endocarditis or a vegetation on the tricuspidal, on the tricuspidal valve, uh, native valve then. Um, the second patient is uh, it's a, a 42 year old patient who was an IV drug abuser. He came to the ER because of seven days lasting fever, rash and swelling of the lumps, and we did different uh, examinations. And at the end, we, we, we found out that this man had also infectious endocarditis. There is a vegetation on the, on the, tri on the septal cusp of the tricuspid valve. And you can see that here also there is um, dynamic circulation. The ejection fraction is fine. Um, the atria seems to be fine. Left atria and the right atria and the right ventricle is also seems to be seems to be fine here. Um, here is the measurements and. Oh, this is another picture. Um, no. Yeah. So there's regurg regurgitation, as you can see, but it is not that serious. It's probably mild to moderate regurgitation. Um, both patients had st staphylococcal aureus or um, in, the, in their blood culture so yeah that's it i just wanted to show you how infect, in, infectious endocarditis or vegetations look on the tricuspid valve thank you very much